Hi, thank you for joining us for Devotionables, brief devotions for busy people. My name is Gabriel, and today it is my honor to bestow upon you your graduating certificate in Angelology 101. It's our last class. It's the final, so to speak. Thanks for being with us as we have, we have looked and we have seen in Scripture that angels are created beings. They are spiritual beings that God has created. They serve Him. They do His bidding and they bring Him glory and honor. When we consider angels, and it's all, we've seen this in the Old Testament, it's in the New Testament. These angels help us to remember that there is a spiritual world, that God is the creator of all things, visible and invisible, and He rules and reigns over all things. He causes all things to work for the good of them that love Him and are called according to His purpose. One of the ways that He works in the physical realm is through His servants, the angels. And so as we finish up on the final, my call to you and to me is that we would not be Sadducees. Who are the Sadducees? You may remember from Scripture in the New Testament through the Gospel accounts and in a verse we're going to look at today in Acts, that the Sadducees were a they were the religious elite. They were part of the ruling class of the Sanhedrin. It is the, the Sadducees, along with the Pharisees, the Herodians, who conspired together to kill our Lord Jesus. Here, Paul is in trouble in the book of Acts. They are wanting to bring Paul to death for preaching the gospel, for testifying to the name of Jesus. And so as Paul is being confronted by uh, the Sanhedrin, some mixture of Sadducees and Pharisees, and here he's going to split them in order to provide a little bit of buffer for him, right? some safety, some defense. This is what he says in Acts 23, verse 8. For the Sadducees say that there is no resurrection, nor angel, nor spirit, but the Pharisees acknowledge them all. I'm not calling you to be a Pharisee. I'm calling you to love the Word of God, to know the Word of God, and to see that, indeed, God's Word teaches us there's a spiritual world out there. And in the spiritual world, God is in charge of that, too. He created it. And oftentimes, He chooses to work things out in the physical world through that spiritual realm. So remember, don't be a Sadducee. Don't be a Sadducee who maybe not in a sense that you would um, deny it, but maybe in just your practical life, in your day-to-day -day life, as you walk into your house, right, as you see cars going by, all, all these physical things, as you, as you put a piece of meat in a pan and you can start to smell it, like the aroma of bacon, right? Who doesn't love the aroma of bacon, right? These are, these are physical senses. We can, we can be so attached to these that we live our lives as if there's no spiritual world that God is not interacting on a very uh, minute basis in your life to cause all things to work for your good and His glory. So, angels are real, and they remind us that God is at work ruling, reigning over His creation in your life. Let's finish up by going to Psalm 148. The psalmist will have the final word in Angelology 101. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord from the heavens. Praise Him in the heights. Praise Him, all His angels. Again, an Old Testament testimony to the reality of angels. Praise Him, all His hosts. Praise Him, sun and moon. Praise Him, all you shining stars. Praise Him, you highest heavens and you waters above the heavens. Let them praise the name of the Lord. For he commanded, and they were created, and he established them forever and ever, and gave a decree, and it shall not pass away. Angels created to serve God. You and I created to serve God, to give him glory, to bring him honor, to praise his name. Blessings and joy upon you. Don't deny like the Sadducees.